They call it speaking in tongues. See, before there was language, there was the beat, and cloud claps, and stutter gaffs, our eyelashes and tongues fluttering like moth wings, terrified of the light. This is never going to make any sense, but you don't have to understand the words I'm saying. Just feel where I'm coming from. Feel it, y'all. We're all trying to conceptualize this confusion, asking questions like, why are we here? George Carlin said, plastic, assholes. Stephen Hawking says, philosophy is dead. My dad tells us that we all evolved from when the space aliens jettisoned their space toilets, which makes us all space shit, like it's all one big practical joke, and God, he can't stop laughing. He wants us to laugh, too. Because that's the fastest way you get to love. A language spoken in the spaces between heartbeats. It comes out most clearly when we are still like children. Imagination, the fastest way to someplace better. Our brains are still trying to translate this feeling into words, but when it gets to our lips, there are translation errors. Frustrated with these limitations, I've taken to turning the ring on my finger, hoping my belief in it will give it power. It's no different than wearing a cross around your neck, a yarmulke on your head, a Koran in your pocket. I want to learn sign language, pop and lock, salsa swing better so I can relearn how to speak more clearly through my body. I know it'll never be enough. Because something more is happening here. The perilous line between idea and ideology has us all running on autopilot, speaking in sound bites, ricocheting quotation off of holy books and into the brains of people, hands clasped in song and psalm, desperate for something, anything, an answer. When we think we found the rhythm of his song, we get into wars with people who sing differently because we're not evolved enough to be comfortable in our own skin, stuck in a mental tidal wave. The undertow is pulling us out. We are terrified to let go. Sing, dance, love. Speak to God or gods. It doesn't matter what you believe in, whether you be evangelical, agnostic, or atheist, so long as that belief is true to you. But I don't want to preach to you. Because that's just how the repressed speak to the desperate. Just ask any fundamentalist, but the promised land is a place where we learn to come back to ourselves, own our stories, speak in the rhythm, the song, and the tongue.